reporting from the frosty Jura Mountain. The autopilot off. Matt and I are amidst our preparations for our Diamondo Earth rounding flight around the globe. Today we will take the DA-50 for a training flight over Switzerland to simulate an emergency descent for the unlikely case that our onboard oxygen system would fail. As most small aircrafts, the DA-50 is unpressurized. This is why Robin and I are wearing these fancy canulas, which are connected to the oxygen system of the plane and which will provide us with oxygen at altitude. Okay, we are on the circuit breakers point. Flaps, take off. Nice headset. Nice headset as well. Flight controls. Full up, full down, full left, full right. Flight controls for incorrect. Go into back track, runway 14. Enter back track, runway 14, hotel 77. Wind 160 degrees, 2 knots, runway 14, clear for takeoff. Runway 14, clear takeoff, hotel 10, 10. Wind 160 degrees, 2 knots, runway 14, clear for takeoff. I'm ready. Checked. Heading is compared to takeoff per set, rolling. Checked. RPM looking good, load looking good. Airspeed's alive. We've now reached flat level 160 and we're going to simulate the loss of oxygen pressure which would trigger annunciation, an oxygen pressure annunciation and after that we would initiate the emergency descent. Normally we would turn off the airway because it's not coordinated and we don't want to uh, have anyone uh, below us but in this case we coordinated it so we will just descend straight ahead. Hotel Tango Tango request to start the exercise now. Hotel Tango Tango, the exercise is approved and uh, within the next uh, six miles it will be uh, 6,000 feet the lowest. Hotel Tango Tango will plan for our lowest flight level 80. Roger. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay, emergency set, flaps are up, power reduced, autopilot off, speed is checked below 162. Standing by with the emergency descent checklist. Go ahead. Flaps are up. Power is flight idle. Airspeed. Checked, increasing. Okay, land gear. Down, three greens. Checked. Rate of descent currently 2,800 increasing. Speed checked, 30 knots to go. Yellow arcs fine with me. Works. 10 to go. 8, 7, 6, 5. We'll stay at 155 to have a little bit of marching. Check. To the, the extended speed. Flight level 1, 2, 5. Speed looking good, on heading. And below flight level 100. Checked. Emergency descent completed, I will take the nose up slightly. Checked, and I'll put the oxygen system off. Hotel Tango Tango, turn right heading 360, vectors for the approach. Right, 360, vectors for the approach, Hotel Tango Tango. Heading 360. Tango, 
for Tango continue right turn heading 110. You're cleared for the Alice approach uh, runway 140 report established localizer. Right turn heading 110, cleared for the Alice 14, Wilco Hotel Panel. Delta Tango Tango, wind 140 degrees, 2 knots, runway 14, clear to land. Tango Tango via Bravo, I guess Terminal North, correct? That's correct, via Bravo for Terminal North. Merci schön, Mama, für die Koordination. Jetzt würde ich auf der Tango Tango. Du hast gerne weiterleiten, merci schön, Mama. Merci dir auch, ciao, auf der Tango Tango. So, really happy with what we saw. Um, she goes down mad quick once we initiated. Definitely. The, what we did? Did we have three thousand six hundred feet per minute, something like approximately, that? Approximately, yeah. <laughs> um, we now will show you after the flight how we compensate the emissions with the tool that we created together with our partner, My Climate, and we'll show you one of My Climate's initiatives in Switzerland, which the money that we invest is actually used for in terms of helping our atmosphere. Reporting from the frosty Jura mountains in Switzerland. You may ask yourself why we advocate emission offsetting alongside alternative fuels. The answer is leverage. Currently, $1 invested into quality offsetting projects can achieve at least a factor 20 higher carbon reducing effect when compared to investments into sustainable aviation fuel, so-called SAF. Or in other words, we are in a transition period in which only relying on the currently limited availability of SAF would make sustainable aviation extremely costly, well out of reach of many, including Robin and myself. So this project of my climate in the Jura Mountains, a region we often overfly, supports the restoration of peatlands. In their natural state, peatlands, or raised bogs, have enormous carbon storage potential. Globally, peatlands store 30% of soil carbon, despite the fact that they cover only 3% of the world's surface. Thanks to this climate offsetting project, various areas of the unique raised bog in La Guerre can be restored to its natural state. This results in the release of less greenhouse gas into the atmosphere. So if you want to join in on helping my climate conduct these projects, make sure to visit the emission calculator on the Diamond of Earth Rounding website and offset your flight's emissions after your next landing.